All right, so today we're going to work on the windshield. Uh, this can be a little funky. There's some things that are going on that uh, you probably haven't seen before, some things that we need to make sure that you pay attention to on this. So the entire windshield uh, is built with one straight line, and then you can see there's an arc of a radius of six here, an arc, a long arc here with a radius of six, and then another short arc with a radius of 0.4. And then there's dimensions on how long those arcs should be. We're going to build the straight line first, and then we're going to build the two arcs that are six inches in radius. And then we'll finish it up by constraining the radius with the, the arc with the radius of 0.4 on it and be able to uh, put it all together here. So as you follow the instructions, it does say to do that. It says sketch the two arcs with the six inch radius using three point arcs and then locate each endpoint with the vertical and horizontal dimensions and then finally place that dimension with the 0.4 arc. So we'll go ahead and get to that started, and then we'll go through and look at what the rest of the directions say. So a new sketch. Uh, just going to build it because we're going to go sideways with this. So I need a straight line first. It says on our directions that we need this to be 3.040 inches long. And we need to have a three-point arc. So I'm going to click here, build it here, and I need it to be a six inch arc. So I got that one. And then I'm going to build this six inch arc here. I don't want it to be a huge arc. I want it to be rather shallow. So I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to delete that one. I messed that up. We'll delete that and redo that real quick. Nice shallow arc, six inches, almost a straight line there. So I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to real quick check my dimensions to make sure I've got this. It says that this arc goes straight up at 0 0.640. So we should be able to get that one in. This arc has a height of one inch and a length of 2.55 from this far right edge. And also this arc, the small arc here, has this length of 3.010. So we got to get all of those dimensions back in there. So first things, it says we're going to dimension this to be at 0 0.640 and this should also have a dimension of 3.010 and then this one has a height dimension of 1 inch and a length dimension of 2.550 so we have those in there and now we can take our three-point arc we're going to connect the endpoints of that and it says that that needs to have a radius of 0 0.400 and we have all three of those arcs now connected so now if we go back to our directions here, step two says to edit the sketch to remove the dimensional constraints on the upper coincident point between the two arcs and add geometric tangent constraints between each pair of adjacent arcs. So it's telling us we're going to delete these two dimensions and then we're going to add tangent constraints here. If we did the tangent constraints before we deleted those constraints, those it would error out on us and tell us that we're doing something wrong. So we're going to first go delete those two and then we're going to add tangent constraints to make sure that we see that correctly here. So we're going to delete that constraint and that constraint and now we're going to go back up to our tangent constraint and say we want a tangent constraint between those two and between these two. So we've added those in there just to go back to our directions here. So now we're going to be able to 
extrude our part so we're going to go ahead and save it and if we take a look here a little bit farther it says we're going to extrude our part 2.55 inches so I'm going to finish my sketch should allow me to extrude it 2.55 I can click OK and at this point this would be a great place for you to save your work we're going to go back to the directions here. It's going to tell us that we need to fill it, the edges, and then we're going to rotate under and shell it. So our fillet, it says we have a radius of 0.5, and we're going to shell it to a measured thickness of, if I zoom in on this, it says 0 0.07. So we'll get those two there. So we've got the fillet here. And so you can see how the fillet does the entire thing. We got that and that one both of 0.5. And we're going to flip this over. We're going to shell it to 0 0.07. And that's a great place for you to save your work. And for us to stop for the first video, we'll add the second video. Uh, to be able to show how to put the base in to be able to fit it into the vehicle.